Greetings and welcome to another session of Tropico 3 Absolute Power. Today, this week, we're going to be looking at Pirate Cove. Term of office from 1950 till 1975. 25 years, that's, that could be a long game. 300 years ago, Carmen Sita Island was a thriving pirate settlement. The pirates are now part of the island's historical past, but the modern citizens still possess some of the traits of their ancestors, and you are no exception. Now that you've managed to take the presidency, it is time to secure your retirement fund. After the glorious pirating days, Carmen Sita's inhabitants turned to its forest for profit at the expense of the tr island's trees. Now the citizens must do what they do best, and to entertain themselves and the rich American tourists. Mission objective, amass as much money in your Swiss bank account as you can before 1975. Alright then. Well, let's go look for something piratey to wear. Uh, let's keep the complexion the same. A pirate hat. Um, a pirate with a ponytail. That's well, probably more practical than a ship. Any accessories? Pipe, cigar, cool cat, new. And um, what kind of beard would fit a pirate? Mm, don't suppose they have a blue beard, but. You stay in there, sneeze. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> no, that looks ridiculous. Let's go just with an old school mustache and nothing else. Right, background. We want to have the most capacity for getting money out of people. So, let's see. What would give me more money? Yeah. Well, Rom, that this does seem to be fitting sort of in the in the theme. Let's see, fortunate zone. I can't not be because I already selected that. Extra starting money, more tourism rating. Um, let's see what else is there. And no. Is it well, no, no. Mm. I'll go with silver spoon. My rise to power. Uh, now, what we need is something. That will increase tourism. Family values doesn't seem to strike me for someone who was a pirate. Um. Actually, let's go with hotel corporate buyout. That'll make it easier for us to do stuff. Um, I'm gonna keep diplomatic, but financial genius. Uh, charismatic, no. Um, administrator, no, not really. Uh, this I cannot pick, because that would pretty much foil the entire exercise. This one, well traveled. Let's see. Well, womanizer seems to fit in well, and what else? Alcoholic. Yeah. Alright, we've got the avatar, let's dive right in. January 1950. 
How does it feel being denied to reap the fruits of your labor? How is it possible that your sweat and tears are only fattening the ruthless oppressors while you work 14-hour shifts? I say enough. No more lies. It's time for change, and I, Betty Bloom, will be your guide to liberation. Join the resistance, or die. Doesn't seem like a really good option either way. Welcome, Presidente. I congratulate you for your recent rise to power. As you know, 300 years ago, our island was a thriving pirate settlement. The pirates would organize raiding parties and plunder neighboring islands, causing chaos in the region. But these days are now part of our history. And at present, Tropico is a thriving island nation. Still, the modern citizens under your rule carry some of the traits of their predecessors. So I would advise you to be vigilant during your mandate, Presidente. Natural resources on this island are scarce, as most of the trees have been cut down for profit by your predecessor. Maybe Presidente will be able to find a way to restore our once mighty forests. I might well do that, but... Oh, first, let's see what we actually do have. Uh, fertility for corn is even low. Less than 50%. Banana... Papaya might do work, especially up here. Uh, pineapple, sort of alright. And it's all, it's all concentrated in this area. That might not be good. Tobacco. Tobacco is actually very good. You can even put that near the city center. And sugar? It's only 12%. And mostly in this uh, tropical area near the beach. Alright then, how about iron? We've got one deposit. That was a reasonable amount. Bauxite? Alright then. Gold! Oh, the pirates, the pirates didn't even bury any treasure here. How pitiful. No oil. Well, plenty of fishing grounds. Logging. Well, there's plenty of areas I could log. And pastures. Well, nowhere near the city, but... Well, we can look uh, into that some more later. How about beauty? Uh, there's not much of it. Oh no. All the way on the other side of the island. Well, I guess I can work with that. If I can get a road over this mountain ha mountainous area. And then I'll have to decide what to do with these uh, ancient ruins. See, I get score... As much money as my Swiss bank account, alright, so... What will give me more Swiss bank account dollars? Alright, export prices. Mm, bauxite is fairly nice. Cigars would also do nice. Mm. Furniture is okay. Well, there's no gold on this island that I know of, so... Llama wool is also above average. Uh, papaya, pineapple, very meh. Uh, rum would be okay, I guess. And weapons are a little bit low, actually. Still very good, but low. So I guess we'll be looking into ranches for a bit, to start off with. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see, fish, pineapple... Uh, and I guess we'll be going into beef. Uh, Alright, so first things first. Diplomatic Ministry. Actually, let's build the road first. It's sort of difficult to get a straight road in this game sometimes. Alright, then I'll put the ministry behind here. And for the initial housing, I'll get a garage here. And then we'll start. Are you a rebel? And we 
we got two corn farms. And nothing much else. Uh. Oh, it's just this pyramid. I'll turn it, in the I'll turn it in a, into an excavation site. I'll need a professor for that to operate it, but it'll be more effective. Alright, so what did the game give me? Uh, two high school workers, three grade school, and loads of uneducated sorts. And only one college worker which is retired, which is absolutely useless. Completely useless. Alright then. Are you a rebel? Economically, we have one unemployed person. Could be worse. So let's just speed it up. There's nothing else much going on right now, so... Come on, build it! Can we build it? Because I say so! I've got a serious job shortage. Uh, worker shortage rather, not job shortage. I need more immigrants. Alright. So that's finished. And now get the USSR development aid. And let's put down some housing. And the marketplace for starters. Alright, so this should speed things up a little bit. What do you want? I'm busy ruling. Alright, so who hates me? Well, the loyalists don't like me very much. The religious are not happy. But they hardly ever are. Mm, average happiness. The environment is mostly why it's being uh, kept down. Nothing much I can do about that though. One new immigrant. Well, it could be worse. A little bit, speed-wise, because until I got the basic set up, there's really nothing else I can do besides wait for any scheduled events. Because I know there's some fun stuff. Yay, financial aid! The weather is just peachy as usual on our little paradise. Are you a it's rebel? a perfect day for farming, mining, and deforestation. Dear people of Tropico, please stop with the permanent siesta. Leave the beaches and the pubs and join our presidente, so he doesn't have to do everything on his own. Oh, 
Well, I suppose that might actually not be bad. Power plant. Well, it is within my limits. Hmm. I have to put it somewhere where it's not really in the way, though. Somewhere on the beach, probably. Come on, stop being annoying road. Alright, there we go. And I'll also put down some amenities. A restaurant will make people more happy. And a pub will make people forget they care. For now though, I just want to make sure that everyone has access to housing. And as I'm not getting these tenements full up yet, I'm going to shift priority to my amenities. I'm also going to get an immigration office. And I'm going to pre-hire a worker for it. Because I need to fill uh, spaces. Tropico is spiraling into debt as the money in the national treasury has been depleted. If measures are not taken soon, the financial situation on the island may deteriorate rapidly. Speak fast. I don't have all day. Yeah, it doesn't help that I don't have any health care either. But for now, things should remain relatively stable. I mean, people are happy that there is almost no crime. That's something. Six new immigrants. Alright. That will help. What do you want? I'm busy ruling! But I will need to start getting something that will produce money. Because this will not keep up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so they are working on that. In the meantime, uh, let's get some farms going. Well, some ranches, rather. A little bit difficult to tell exactly where they are putting their fields, but doesn't matter. Um, there's another cattle ranch. Kaboom! This is TNT, and I am Juanito! Several intellectuals have pointed out that the children of Tropico are uneducated and can barely read or write. Concerned for the future of the island, they demand the construction of a new high school. Yes, I'm certain they are very concerned. I couldn't care.
but I will see you all next time.